Hello, CWA, the great communication workers of America. It's Senator Chuck Schumer, and I want to welcome you to Washington for your 2024 Legislative Political Conference. I'm sure sorry I couldn't be there in person. As you know, we're in one of these state work periods, and I'm running around New York State all this week. But I am certainly with you in spirit, because I love CWA. First, thanks to my friend and your president, Claude Cummings, who's done such a great job in this first year leading CWA. He cares so much about the workers of CWA, about working people in America and all of America. We've become good, close friends. When Chris retired, I knew I, we were such close friends. I said, I'll never be the same with a new president. But I am. We're just as close. I'm just as close to Claude Cummings as I was to Chris Shelton, except for one thing. Claude speaks with a Texas accent. I prefer Chris's Bronx accent. I also want to thank our CWA Secretary Treasurer, Amina Salam, CWA District 1 Vice President, Dennis Trainer, my dear friend representing the great state of New York, and the entire leadership team for making CWA one of the strongest unions in the country. And who, why are you so strong? The great rank and file members of CWA, working hard for making America a better place to live and to work. My brothers and sisters, it's a great time to be part of a union. Over the last few years, under President Biden and my tenure as majority leader, Democrats have passed the most pro-union agenda that America has seen in decades. We passed pension reform and the American Rescue Plan, helping tens of millions of Americans sleep better at night, knowing they have the promise of a secure retirement. The big bosses wanted us to cut their pensions. We said NFW, as they say in Brooklyn, and we kept the pension secure of so many workers. We also ended the decade law funding freeze at the NLRB, one of the most important and active pro-worker agencies, and they're making regulations and rules that help our unions organize and stay strong. We've invested hundreds of billions of dollars to create countless of good-paying union jobs through historic bills like CHIPS and Science, the Bipartisan Infrastructure Law, and I made sure all of these had strong labor protections. And one of the things I'm proudest of is passing the Inflation Reduction Act, one of the most consequential bills that America has seen in generations. And the, the IRA is lowering the costs for working families. It's reducing the costs of prescription drugs like insulin and creating good paying union jobs. Thanks to our work, we're now seeing a surge in union activity in America because workers are realizing the benefits of unions and even all of America which at one point was a little more anti-union, now realizes how important unions are to create the middle class. But we're not done yet. There's a lot of work left to do on many issues important to CWA and workers across the country. From expanding paid sick leave and family leave for workers, to strengthening the right to organize in the workplace and getting the PRO Act done, to protecting funding for the NLRB to ensure that no union worker ever has to worry about their pension and much, much more. So folks, this November, we have a choice. We can continue to build on our agenda, or we can allow the Republicans who are anti-union to their core to take us backward. The next few months won't be easy, but nothing, but if, if nothing, I'm not, I'm nothing if I'm not an optimist. If we keep persisting, our efforts are gonna be rewarded. So thank you, enjoy the conference, and I look forward to working with great CWA, Claude and your leadership, to move our country forward in the right direction.